deliver us all from oh. hell. Take this off. No, you're bullshitting me. Come and back. I'm not, I'm not gonna. All right, y'all. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you're tuning in. I'm grateful to have you here. And we got my man, Jesse Lee Peterson, back in the building today, supposedly talking to a gay pastor. I'm not sure how that works. As a matter of fact, I know it doesn't. That's like saying I'm Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> Y'all see these freckles? The, the two just don't go together, but I'm sure it'll be amazing. That's amazing. Let's get it popping. Welcome to the Father State. I am Jesse Lee Peterson. Help us fight censorship. This is the spirit of offense. Recognize the spirit of offense. Give the thumbs up. Thumbs up, buddy. That man already and looks up. Don't forget to subscribe. First off, dude did look highly upset, but we're going to get into it. And I'm going to be cutting in and out of this video, cutting clips out, and adding things in so I can get my point to the ring church. The bell. You can ring my bell. Ring the bell, right? I, uh, ring mine too while you're at it, please. today, <laughs> Pastor Kurt D. Thomas. He's a single pastor of the re Renewed Church. Okay, here we have the first red flag. He's a senior pastor, y'all. He is leading the flock. The second flag, and I'm not trying to profile anyone's city, but Los Angeles, y'all, come on now. We know what this is. Los Angeles, California, and I'm not trying to profile anybody's city once again, but this is a fallen city, fallen angels, the city of fallen angels. Church of Los Angeles, am I right? Renewed Church of Los Angeles. Thank you for coming. Well, thank you for having me. I absolutely appreciate it. Thank you. And so, were you called to be a pastor, or, or did you go to school for it? Um, well, at the age of nine, um, I felt the presence of God um, over me. I grew up in a Pentecostal church, uh -huh. so I went through that entire Pentecostal experience. And it wasn't you know, until I matriculated through um, college um, that I decided to get a, um, a bachelor's degree um, in um, theology or to study theology while I was at Stillman College. Oh, I see. So God didn't call you. You just you, you decided to oh, go no. to school for it. No, no, no. I believe that I was called by God to do what I do. Oh, you do? Yes. And why did you why do you believe that? Why do I believe that I was called? Uh -huh. um, I know that I'm that I'm called to do what I do because the the because I have a passion and I have a desire to see people elevated from where they are to where they need to be. Oh, okay. And when you say where they are, do you okay. believe that human beings are in a fallen state? Um, explain what you mean by that. Uh, in fallen. A fallen uh, you're a pastor. You should know. Yeah, but I'm. Okay, take notes, church. This is also the spirit of chaos. Chaos is defined as disorder and confusion. He is clearly confused here, and it is derived from the Greek word chaos, and it means chasm or void. Chaos can take various forms in our lives, including messiness, uncertainty, confusion and a lack of understanding here clearly is a lack of understanding you all he is deceived this man clearly has a lot of demons obviously i already pointed out three explain what what do you mean by a fallen state do you know uh do you be believe that human beings are in a fallen state you know what fallen means a right? fallen state means that they've fallen from the grace of, of god is yes that, is that what you're okay so okay come on folks so what and who does he think that he is? See the deception in his heart? Right. Um, so I believe that we people, see? Have, people, that humans have fallen from a fallen state, but. But, but there is no buts. It all began in Genesis, folks. Genesis chapter three, verse four. Then the serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die. For God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eye and a tree desirable to make one wise, she took of its fruit 
and ate. She also gave to her husband with her and he ate. With the whole deal with reconciliation, I think that God reconciles us back to himself. So you do agree then that human beings have fallen away from God, right? That humans have fallen away from God according to Adam right. and all of that, yes. And then at some point, those who want to, who seek him will come back. Those who, who seek him are that he's called back to them, yes, then they will is come it, back. Or is it possible to overcome that fallen state? It is possible to overcome that fallen state if we accept um, if we accept Christ back into our hearts. Right. So How does one know when it? Bingo, there is no Christ Jesus in this man's heart. He is on the other side. Do not be deceived. He works for Satan. They're in a fallen state. Well, a person that right. will know that they're in a fallen state when are, is, is when they don't live a, a life that's acceptable. I believe that's... A he was about to say it according to the Bible, according to the scriptures, according to the truth of our true and living God, Jesus Christ. But see, Satan stopped him and put something else in this man's mouth, y'all. Listen closely, deep. It really acceptable to themselves. So like a person that is a drug addict or a person that is um, drinks too much liquor. Or gay. Um, a person that maybe um, not possibly not living their best life or their or what doing what they're called to do. I think that those people are the people that find themselves in a fallen state. So I think he was trying to cater to the masses there. He's kind of virtue signaling, like living, the, well, you don't say living their best life. No, when they're not living according to the Bible, it, what God's word says in the scripture, that's when you're, you're not living how God wants you to live. So that means homosexual, or as Jesse would say, homosexual. <laughs> they're not living in life according to God. And they're in a fallen state. If, if you're not living a life that is according to the principles of God, yes. Then you're in a fallen state. Then you're in a fallen state. Um, All right. So if I, I read, and I don't know if it's true or not, I like to ask the person before I mention, you know. Okay. Uh -oh. if it's true or not. Are you a homosexual? I am a um, same gender loving man. So it doesn't mean you're a homosexual? It means that I'm the same gender loving man. But just for, I'm black and slow. Okay. And just for the record, <laughs> does that mean you're a homosexual? I, yeah, I could be considered a homosexual. Are you considered? I, I don't want so. to think of you if yeah, you're not. I'm a homosexual. I didn't say it, people. God said it. Look what he says in his word. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites. Oh, my Lord. Gay. You're a homosexual? Yes. And so you're a homosexual pastor? Yeah. I am a homosexual pastor, yes. No, sir! Negative. There's no way. He is a worker of iniquity, y'all. How long have you been a homosexual pastor? Um, I've been a pastor um, for eight years, uh, senior pastor, and then before that, prior to that, um, I was a youth pastor. Oh, okay. Oh, Lord. Why do you think that God would call a, a person, a homosexual, to be a pastor but not change him? So, um, uh -oh. I don't think that God majors where we minor. Uh, and I, and this is literal. What in the hell did he just say? Did hell just fall to earth when he said what? Okay, that means God is not God. See how he is worshiping the creature rather than the creator? Oh, but it gets, it gets worse, folks. It gets worse than this. And so I think that what happens is I think that we put limitations on God that God doesn't have. Hold on, hold on. He said God doesn't major where we minor. So God doesn't take advantage and try to reconcile and save you from your your downfalls, your shortcomings, your sin. That's exactly what God does. God, he'll give you all the opportunities to lift yourself out of that sin, to lift yourself out of that bad behavior that you're you're completely going against everything that he designed humanity to be. Men and women go complementary together. So, what do you what are you saying? <laughs> what? This, this is all wrong. I don't, I'm just hoping that he hasn't been gay the entire time because you can't be a pastor called according to God's purpose and be gay. It just don't go together. Like God lifts you up out of that sin filled behavior, whatever it may be. And this this is blasphemous to me right here. Um, 
we could end, if you go to seminary or something like that, you find out that there's a thought process that God could possibly be a woman or that God could be this or that God could be that. Let's take a minute to pray for this brother. Clearly, this man is deceived and he has a one-way ticket straight to hell because this is where he is leading the masses and God is not playing. This is serious, folks. You can only you can only be a witness to this. That's why I had to show y'all this video. That, that God can be whatever it is that you need him to be. You believe so, that he can be a woman? I believe that God can be whatever it is that you need him to be. So can you oh. be a homosexual too if you need him to be one? Well, honestly, I don't think that God... Oh, this is messed God, up, The Bible says that God is neither male nor female. Right. So how so, can he be a woman then if he's not a female? Well, I'm saying that... So there's a book that's by... Um, by Watch... By... Who's the book? By? There's a book that is written. It's called... Um, but well, that's all right by the time. What about the book? But in the book, um, the principles of the book talk about God swaying himself to um, to this book. And it's called The Shack by W.M. Paul Young. And so if you read that book, then you find out that, that a movie too? God basically finds himself congruent to whatever state of mind a person is is in. And so at one state, God is a Jewish carpenter. At one state, God shows himself as um, as a big black um, woman in the kitchen cooking. Big black woman? Uh, a black woman in the kitchen, in the kitchen cooking. Uh, and so, a big birth out there. Be a big that, black woman. I think that God can be whatever it is that you need God yeah. to be at that moment. Hold on, I gotta interject, man, because redefining and rewriting the Bible to suit your own truths and and what you want—that that's not the case. That's just not how it works. And sadly for this pastor and whoever his congregation is, they're very gullible and. There, he's leading them down the wrong path. I just had to add because this this is not how it goes. Don't do not be fooled. This is the devil taking advantage of of weak minded people. This is the devil, Satan, blinding the minds of the unbeliever and deceiving the, the believers. That's what's going on right here because he's deceiving the unbelievers that may be going to his congregation. And he, as a believer, is being deceived. Satan has taken hold of that vehicle. And hey amen. You need to eject them from that from that the passenger seat, the driver's seat, all of it. You need to just go ahead and get to a different vehicle because this this ain't this ain't right. And I hope to God that your spouse is not also a pastor. I hope you didn't meet him in the seminary because then that's two congregations being completely led down the road to hell. And let me add, church, we conform to the Lord Jesus Christ, to God, Yahweh, Yeshua, however you want to say his name, but he does not conform to us. He is a, a sovereign Lord. You think that God can be a homosexual too? I don't. If God needs to be a homosexual, I think that he was, but I don't liken him to that. I don't liken the word. I don't liken God mm -hmm. to be um to 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 be an isolated <laughs> gender. So you believe that God could be a woman or be a black woman, God a could homosexual. Be, God could be whatever you need God to be. No, he cannot. God is and God. So, so does the that Almighty, person make the God when they want him to be in their mind so they can accept being wrong? Or I does God switch? Genders and all that kind of stuff. I don't think that um, I don't think that God that we create God to be whatever we want God to be in our minds. I think that it's based on experiences. The experiences of that person allows God to trans trans. Um, what did he just say? Trans trans what? Transform transhumanism. Which one you want to use? See the other deity that is working here within this man to to transform himself in whatever it is that that person God ain't is trans man God example. is straight um if you've ever gone the straightest to Africa or if you've ever gone to a, a part of the world where um where we haven't where there's no westernized um religions to where people they we don't they don't have an isolated form of who Jesus who Jesus is or what he looks right. like opposed to what you were talking about earlier. Right. Um, we don't know what he looks like. And so since that God becomes whatever it is that that person's experience is. Those countries allowed that don't be. believe in God, they are S whole countries and they're all trying to come here now and bring their S whole attitudes. Their S whole what is that? That means uh, what is that? 
What is it? Asshole country? Ask the great white hope, Donald S-H-I-T-Hole. Trump. Oh, you're talking, you're saying that they're asshole countries. Right, because those people don't believe in Dumps. God. I wouldn't say that they don't believe in God. I would say They don't that believe in the real God. They have their own made up God. Idols. Based on their imagination, right? Mm, I wouldn't False. say that. I would I would say that we that we experience God on the level that we know God. So if if you have somebody that is an Indian and they've never had anyone explain to them the ideology of of God that is created here in Western culture, then I think that what that is person, Western culture? Western culture is where is where we are now. It's, oh. what, it's what we 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 operate in a canonized version of the Bible in which we accept as the authentic truth of, of who well, Western culture is the best culture, right? I wouldn't say that. Then why everybody <laughs> trying to come here? If we're not the best, if Western culture is not the best culture, why everybody trying to come to what's not the best culture? Is everybody trying to come here? Everybody and their mama. Have you know that we can't even keep the air out? <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't it's say that everybody's trying to come here, yeah, but I are. would say that there are people that are trying from all to, over the world. to come here from all over the world. Right. Yeah. And so, if we are not the best country, why are they trying to come here? Why don't they go to the best country? We could consider ourselves to be the best country, but we and are maybe, the best. And maybe and that's because of Western culture. Well, I wouldn't use the word "best." Maybe I would use the word "we're probably a country." where people are allowed to be free and be themselves. So we're the best. Top tier, upper echelon, America. Yeah, I'll go with that. <laughs> so I want to go back. You say, you say God is a black woman. I didn't say God was a black woman. I, I, I used the book as an analogy. That God to, was a black to woman. To show us that God could be whatever it is that we need God to Amazing. be. Amazing. Do you believe that, that book? I believe that God could be whatever it is that we want God to be. Really? Yes. And mm-hmm. so you've been a homosexual all your life, you said earlier, right? Um, at the age of Jordan nine, Brent. at the age of nine, I, um, I, I knew that I liked, that I liked the same sex. Boy. Yes. So he so-called went on to be an ordained pastor, but has never received any deliverance and has just clearly went downhill since then. So there is no God in this man. He is completely controlled. And on the other side, y'all, this is it's obvious. How did you become Men. that way? Mm. I didn't become that way. I just I knew that that was my innate nature to be to 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 like me. False. This is from the pits of hell, y'all. And so how did your nation go from a natural nature of being a man or male to an unnatural nature of becoming a woman? How did that happen? So you said the unnatural nature of me becoming a woman? Yeah, how, you know, you, if you were born a natural male, right? You're born a natural male. Right, you were, right? I'm an, I, am a, I am a male currently sitting here in front of you. But how did you go from being a natural male to an unnatural woman? He's saying this because apparently this guy is, well, he's clearly gay, but he is not, his male tendencies are gone. He has female tendencies, you know, and now he's liking men, which women like men. You get what I'm saying? So you see what Jesse, where Jesse is going from here. Who's an unnatural woman? But isn't homosexuality is like being a, a female feelings? No. What is it? No. What is it exactly? Just being, trolling. Being gay is, <laughs> or being being gay, being a homosexual, whatever term like um, that that a person filled with sin and right, mental illness identify themselves. It's an innate state of being. It means that this this is who that person is. It, it, if I'm not a woman, I, I'm a man sitting here in front of you having a conversation. I have a penis, just like you have. Well, a you penis. do have the male parts, but not in cutting that off too. Did you hear about that? We'll get to that. <laughs> but do you feel in, inwardly? Do you feel oh, like a just, male or you feel like a female? I am a male sitting here in front of you. No, but what do you what do you feel I like? I feel like a male and inside. I am, I am a male sitting here in front I, of you. I realize that, but inside, do you feel like a man or you feel like a woman? I am a male sitting here in front of you, so that answers your question, right? I know. I don't feel like anything because I am. Oh. A male. You don't feel like neither male nor woman. I am a male sitting here in front of you. I realize that, but but what made you think you're a homosexual then? 
if there's not a what feeling makes on your upset? side, why do you think you're homosexuality homosexual? is not a feeling? It's a state of being. It's a, it's who the person innately is. Uh, it has nothing. To no, it's denial. That's what it is. Because women like men. That's what it is. So he's saying, you are you a female inside? Because only God created men and women to like each other. So you like dudes. So therefore, you have to have feminine tendencies. And I just I love the way Jesse trolls people, his ability to do that, then act like completely innocent as if he doesn't even know why they're uh, like upset is unmatched. It's unprecedented. And he's one of the best that I've ever seen. And it's, it, he's graceful about it, too. I, I just love the way he does it. And all roads don't lead to God. All roads don't lead to God. Only Jesus leads to God. And Jesus wouldn't walk up in there telling you it's okay to, to date dudes. Jesus wouldn't walk up in there as you try to chop off your part or change out your parts or, or kill an innocent baby, aka abortion, anything like that. If Jesus wouldn't go with you to do it and he wouldn't approve it, then it's not going to get you to God. I don't care what try to, how you try to paint the picture, it, it's not, it's not going to happen. And Booker T. Washington said, We need to tell this to Oprah. We need to speak to Oprah now. A lie doesn't become truth. Wrong doesn't become right. And evil doesn't become good just because it's accepted by a majority. Just because you want it to be that way. Facts don't care about feelings. And if it ain't in this, th then it ain't truth. If it don't line up with this principle right here, that is the Bible, the foundation, the rock to build your entire lifestyle on, then it is, in fact, false. It is denial. It is Satan trying to soothe you away into something else. And it's, it's we got to keep confronting the evil. We got to keep on confronting it because Satan is hard at work. He's busy. But this right here, this this is scary. This is very disturbing that this guy is a pastor and he's been gay since he was like nine years old. So imagine the poison and the, the false realities and the just constant betrayal that he's feeding his audience. He's just getting them deeper and deeper into sexual lust and sin and perversion and, and just idolatry and all this nonsense that will not lead you to heaven. It's going to get crispy and toasty if you keep listening to people like that. One ticket to hell, please. Progressive Christians. These aren't these aren't even Christians. I can't even say that they're Christians. To say that that God is whatever we want him to be is literally placing ourselves above God and dictating him to conform to our desires. And it just don't work like that. It has nothing to do with creating a feeling that, that you're talking about. It's an innate it's it's the innate nature of who that person is. I innately no, am who I uh -uh. am. Me being gay or, or homosexual has nothing Cut him off. to do Cut him off. for me. <laughs> With being a man, it has everything to do with. Folks, he apparently doesn't read his Bible at all. He apparently does not read the scriptures. He apparently undermines everything in God's word. For it says again in First Corinthians 6, um, chapter 9. Do you not know the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites. Oh, Lord. My preference and who I choose to sleep with. What does the word in innately mean? What does that mean? I'm black and slow. I don't know what that means. The word innate. Uh -huh. The black word innate stuff. means that it is that you, I'm not changing. Or I'm not becoming something else. I am who I am. Uh, just before we started the show, Sinner. you said that you introduced your, uh, is he your husband or your wife? Is that your husband? He's going to be your husband or your wife? Your husband. <laughs> I'm going to end this interview. Why? Because I, because we're ending this right now. Why you want to end? We're ending it. Well, Take this off. Right. Take this off. When you want to have a real conversation, I'm call having, me. I'm, no, you're bullshitting me. Come back. And I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not. Now the offense spirit is getting mad and it is time for the false, fake, wannabe pastor preacher gay. Um, he wants to get up and leave because all the demons in him, they've had enough. They cannot stand up against the truth. The truth shall set you free. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm not going to be a part of that. Come take pastor this off. Pastor done went vulgar. with me. But why are you why are you running? Come take this off of me, or I'm gonna take it with me. Please take it off of me. Mm. You're, you're, it you're off. disrespecting me. But no, so, man, you really. Take please take it off. Am I asking him a really serious question? No, I'm saying just let me take. They're recording. They're trying to get a reaction. We'll oh, this is brilliant. brilliant. No, that's not what okay, we're doing. Okay, so.
I'll just take it off. Yeah. But is tell it, me why you're running. Down? I'm not running, sir, but when you, you want to have a real conversation, <laughs> you, know, you have my information. Good night. But you said that you. Look at this outfit, sponsored by McDonald's. Ronald McDonald in the flesh. Gay Ronald McDonald. And I know that's that's probably a sin of me to say, but you got to call out. You got to call out the sin. That's when it's okay to judge. You, I'm, I am. He's blatantly sinning in front of people. And, and even worse, he's telling people that that's a godly route. He's telling people that that's okay, that God conforms to whatever your your preference is. If I prefer to kill somebody or not, not work and I prefer to steal, that don't make it okay. That's still a sin. You're sinning. You're openly out in the... It's just messed up, man. This is this is horrible, man. We need to start thinking godly in an ungodly world. The the battlefield of our lives is in our minds. So whatever you think, that's what usually becomes reality. And it, it can ruin or enable peace and godliness for our lives. Just how you think in that 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 memory bank and that control tower. And you got to fill your mind with the truth of God, the, the word of God. You got to dive into this scripture any chance you get. That's how we get right and get moving in the right direction in this world and restore it to the way God created it to be. Not because you feel like a man, you feel like it's okay to date dudes. It's not, man. Just because you call it so doesn't make, make it a fact. When you want to have a real conversation, well, you said when you, you want to have a real conversation, you said you, you go marry this guy. Yeah, huh? When you want to have, he's a guy. You're calling him a female. You're being disrespectful. I, I asked you that ain't going to be his husband, husband or wife. Or why? That's going to be your Come sin. Come back. Part. Do you want to be interviewed? No. <laughs> um. Amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm tickled. But this is serious. Mm -hmm. This oh, is flat man. out no, serious, go. church. This mm. is the devil. He is not even oh, hiding in a disguise. Oh, man. This, this guy, go. he needs help. He needs prayer. And I, I, I'm speechless. This is Marona Prophecy. And I'm out. And this is has been an, an enlightening experience. And I don't know what else to say. But pray. Pray, church. God bless you, and I'm out. Peace. Walk away. So the deal is, that was... Um, Jesse pastor found that Kurt Kurt freckle D. fist, Thomas. bro. And Kurt D. Thomas is a senior pastor of the Renewed Church of Los Angeles. And he is a admitted homosexual pastor. And what he does is he works with men. They uh, host a monthly men's group they say uh so i wanted to know about all that but during the just before we started the show he introduced this other male a black male that he said that they were going to get married soon and i know that these no, people are doing that and they're calling it marriage so i wanted to just kind that of lay marriage. out that first the sin in the open i had no idea Perversion. that he was going to run because if they are proud of being what they are and they say that it's normal you would think that they would want to talk about it but apparently not. And so I don't know what's going to happen, but he's gone. There's no, no use in praying for him anymore. He's gone. I wanted to ask him about the great white hope, Donald Trump. <laughs> I wanted to ask how does this work? If we are in a fallen state, we should overcome. I had a lot of questions. But either way, all thank right, you. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay.